Hello everyone, welcome to HJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the abstract class and the abstract method. Also, we are going to see some examples and then we will discuss the interview questions based on the abstract class and the abstract method. Okay, so let's start with the video. Very first, let's start with the abstract methods. So let me open the IntelliJ. So here, very first question, what is the abstract method? So abstract method is a method which don't have a body or the method which is declared without any body okay for example here let's suppose we have one method void noise or void sound okay so if we are just declaring a method declaration means what we don't have the implementation for this method okay then that method should be abstract method so here I just have declared this sound method so see here we are getting compile time error that missing method body or declare abstract what it means you have two options you have to provide the implementation for this sound method or make this method as a abstract okay so now let's add abstract keyword here so when we are writing any method without the body then that method will be the abstract method okay now see here one more compile time error is coming what is that class animal must either be declared abstract or implement a abstract method sound in animal what it means that the abstract method if, if in your class you have any abstract method or a single abstract method then compulsory your class should be abstract okay so for that you have to make this class also abstract so the definition of the abstract method is that the method which is declared without any body or the implementation and what is the definition of the abstract class so abstract class is a class which is declared with this abstract method then the abstract class can contain an abstract method or it cannot contain an abstract method for example if i remove this method then also we can make this animal class as a abstract class in this abstract class we can have a abstract methods as well as concrete methods okay what it means by concrete method so methods which have the implementation for example here i have a method void eat okay and here i have some implementation eat method okay so this method is having a implementation inside this animal class and this is not abstract method still this animal class can be abstract class okay now here let's add our abstract method so abstract void sound okay and now let's let, if we are writing like this means if we are providing the implementation and then that method we are trying to make it as an abstract then we will also get a compile time error what is the error abstract method cannot have a body okay so i hope you understood what is abstract method and abstract class okay now another important point about the abstract class is that we cannot instantiate or we cannot create an object of the abstract class okay let's suppose here i have a main method and inside this main method i am trying to create an object of the abstract class animal so animal object is equal to new animal just remove this okay so here I am trying to create an object of our abstract class animal and then 
immediately compiler is giving a compile time error so let's see what is the compile time error see here animal is abstract cannot be instantiated okay so we cannot create a object of the abstract class so let's remove this line okay so now we understood that what is abstract method abstract method is a method which don't have the implementation or a body abstract class is a class which is declared with the abstract keyword and abstract class can contain abstract method and if even if we don't have any abstract method inside the abstract class then also we can make that class as a abstract okay and the last point is that we cannot create a object of the abstract class okay now let's remove this so if we are declaring any abstract method inside the abstract class then the implementation so for this method who will provide the implementation whatever classes are extending this animal class that classes should provide the implementation for this abstract method for example here we have a class monkey okay so this monkey class is extending the animal class so see here as soon as we write monkey extends animal we are getting compile time error what is the error class monkey must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method sound in animal means if you are extending any abstract class then you have to provide implementation for the abstract methods whatever abstract methods will be there in your parent class and if you don't want to provide the implementation then you have to make the child class as a abstract okay so here if we make this class as a abstract then compiler compile time error will be gone okay so whenever you are extending any abstract class that time you have to provide the implementation for the abstract methods or you have to make that class as a abstract okay now let's provide the implementation here so how we can provide the implementation void sound and here we have to provide some implementation okay so this way we can create a abstract class and then whenever we are extending the abstract class that time we can we uh, we can provide the implementation for the abstract methods okay now another question is that in which scenarios or when we should use abstract method okay so let's discuss with another example now okay so let's suppose here we have class fruit okay and inside this fruit class we have a method fruit color okay so if someone ask you a question what is the color of fruit will you able to answer the question no why you don't have the complete information like what is the color of fruit but you don't know you are asking about which specific fruit okay we have different fruits and for each fruit there is a different colors okay so if someone ask you a question what is the color of apple then you may answer if someone ask you a question what is the color of mango then maybe you can answer that mango is of color yellow or green okay so if you don't have the complete implementation details with you then you should declare that method as a abstract okay so how we can declare the abstract method we have to 
we don't have to provide the implementation so let's make it as a abstract void color and here again if you have any single method also in your uh, class as a abstract then you have to make that class also as a abstract okay so one point is that if you don't know the implementation of a method then you have to declare that method as a abstract and the another reason is that so here we have this class as a fruit then we have different fruits like mango then we have apple right uh, then we have suppose banana so for each fruit the color will be different right so for the mango it will be yellow or green for apple it will be red for banana it will be yellow okay so if you have a same task with different implementation for each child class then we can make that method as an abstract so that each and every subclass which is inheriting this abstract class can provide the custom implementation as per their requirement okay so for example let's suppose here we have class mango then if we are extending this class extends fruit then here we will provide the implementation void color and here we can write as green okay so here the implementation for this color method of the mango class is green now if we have the another class let's suppose apple and this class is also extending the fruit class okay so here again we have to provide the implementation for the color abstract method and here the implementation will be like apple will be of the color red okay so see here the color is the same method but for each and every fruit the implementation is different okay so in that case you can make the method as a abstract method okay and now you understood that when and in which scenarios you should make a method as a abstract so now another question is that when you should make your class as a abstract class so if you don't want to instantiate your class then you can make your class as a abstract class okay so these are some concepts about the abstract class and the abstract method so also one more point i have let's suppose inside this fruit class we have the variable let's suppose string and name of the fruit okay and if i am trying to make this variable as a abstract then will it allow me no because in java we can only use the abstract keyword with the class and the method we cannot make a variable as a abstract variable okay now let's try some cases here let's create uh, this class like this abstract class as a final and see what will happen so see here illegal combination of modifiers final and abstract what it means you cannot use abstract and final at a time why because if you are making this class as a final then no other subclasses will not able to inherit this class right and if we have abstract methods inside this abstract class then anyways we have to extend this class and provide the implementation in the subclasses but if we are making it as a final then 
we cannot extend this class and we cannot provide the implementation of the abstract class so that's why we cannot make the abstract class as a final okay so these are some concepts or a points which are uh, related to the abstract method and abstract class so i hope you understood now if we summarize so very first point we discussed what is abstract method so abstract method is a method which is declared without any implementation or a body then second what is abstract class so abstract class is a class which is declared with the abstract keyword abstract class can have abstract method or concrete methods even if you don't have any single method single abstract method inside your class then also you can make that class as a abstract class when when you want we you don't want to create the object of that class or you do you don't want to instantiate that class then you can make it as a abstract class okay and then we cannot use a final with abstract keyword okay now let's see some interview questions which are asked based on this concepts okay so very first question is regarding the abstraction so maybe your interview can start with like, like this what is abstraction in java so what it means by abstraction hiding the details from the user and showing only essential or required details what it means so daily we use our phone then our whatsapp facebook ev everyone use this applications but they are not aware about the internal implementation like they know how to call how to message how to receive a call but internally how these things are happening they are not aware about this functionality or the internal implementation and they also like don't want to understand as well that is not required as a point of end user right so abstraction means only showing them the required details and whatever is not required that we can hide from them okay so that is the concept of abstraction and how we can achieve the abstraction in java we can achieve the abstraction in two ways one is abstract class and the second is interface okay in today's video we have discussed about the abstract class so now interview may ask you what is the abstract class explain with example so how you should explain abstract class is a class which is declared with the abstract keyword then abstract class can have abstract methods or a concrete methods and we cannot create a object of the abstract class okay if they ask you to explain with example you can explain the example of a fruit or animal okay now next question is that what is the abstract method so abstract method is a method which don't have implementation the method which is just declared without any implementation so that method is a abstract method okay the next question is that when to use abstract class in java so an abstract class can be used when we need to share the same method to all non abstract sub classes with their own specific implementation what it means for example we seen the example of fruit class where we had the method color okay so color is the same method but that is implemented by different sub classes with their own specific implementation okay so that the in that case we should use abstract class okay so this is perfect example you can give so what is next question 
when to use abstract method in java okay so if you don't have the complete implementation details with you or you have a method which have different implementation for the different subclasses then that time you can use a abstract method okay example we already discussed about the fruit and animal then let's go with the next question can we make an abstract class without abstract keyword no we cannot make a abstract class without abstract keyword because we have to declare a class with the abstract keyword then only that class will considered as a abstract class okay next question is that abstract class must have only abstract methods true or false so that is false in abstract method you can have abstract method or concrete methods as well okay then next is is it compulsory for a class which is declared as a abstract to have at least one abstract method so it is not mandatory in your abstract class you may have abstract method or you may not have okay then also you can make the class as a abstract okay next question is that can we declare abstract method as a private no why we cannot make a abstract method as a private because if we are making it as a private then the scope of that method will be only for that particular class and the sub classes will not able to access that private method okay so how the sub classes will provide the implementation for that right so there you will face a issue that's why the abstract methods we cannot make it as a private now next question is that can we create object of a abstract class no we cannot create a object of a abstract class if we try to create then compiler will give a error okay now next question is that can we instantiate a class which does not have even a single abstract method but declared as a abstract no once you make a class as a abstract then you cannot create a object of that class okay then can we declare abstract method as a private so that is already done so next question is that why final and abstract cannot be used at a time so if we are making a class as a final then we will not able to extend this that class right so that's why we cannot use this abstract with the final keyword then what will happen if we do not override all abstract methods in subclass so if we are not overriding all the abstract methods inside a subclass then compiler will give a error so you have to provide the implementation for abstract methods inside your subclass otherwise you have to make that class as a abstract okay then next question is that why abstract class has a constructor even through you cannot create a object so abstract class can have a constructor why because even if we are not able to create a object of the abstract class we can create a object of the subclass right who have extended the abstract class okay and in our subclass we can have the constructor and from that constructor we have the super right from that super the call will go to your parent class constructor right so that's why we should have or we can have a constructor inside a abstract class okay i hope this is clear then can we declare a variable as a abstract no we cannot declare a variable as abstract we can have a abstract class and abstract methods but no abstract variable okay so these are some important interview questions regarding the abstract class and the abstract method 
so i hope you understood each and everything whatever we discussed today if you have any question or if some point is not clear to you you can mention in the comment section and we will try to resolve your doubt okay so thank you for watching this video if you found this video useful anyway then you can share this with your friend also subscribe to this channel so you will get the notification for newly coming videos thank you